Hi, this is Maximus Mark, owner and director of Enterprise Fitness. Today, I want to make this video to talk to you about different types of bars. Here at Enterprise Fitness, we have over 15 different types of bars. Um, obviously, people may be thinking, like, isn't a bar a bar? Well, no. I, I love equipment, and one of the things I really love is uh, different bars, and essentially their function and how they work. So this first bar that we're looking at here, which is on the bench, is from Australian Barbell Company, which is a fantastic company. And one of the things I wanted to do, being obviously an Australian company, is support homegrown. So their bars I, I really like. Uh, this bar specifically has a fine knurling on it. And that's one of the good features about Australian Barbell, is that you can customize the knurling for what you want. Uh, this bar has a fine knurling on it, so the difference with this bar, say, to a normal bar that you see in most gyms, which we also have, um, this bar is much better for deadlifting. It gives you a much better grip and obviously a better grip for pressing and everything else, but it does have a much finer knurling on it, so there is less slip and it is a little bit solid, uh, more solid as well. You can get this bar um, with the centerpiece, which we do, which basically standardizes it a lot better for outlining your hands. Then if we move over here, we've got what's called, uh, well this is from Penlay, it's from the Penlay range. Uh, and Penlay do two main types of, of bars, they do two different bars. They do a uh, needle bearing bar, which is more for your Olympic lifting, because it has a much better spin, and there's a bushing bar. This is a bushing bar, and the way I think about the bushing bars is it's kind of a hybrid between uh, a, a standard power bar, which if you see here, it has no spin. If you drop it, it just drops flat. Uh, where this bar, it does have quite a good spin on it, uh, and that's pretty much respective of um, the, the Penlay range, because obviously Penlay does design, being you know, the US Olympic lifting coach, he does design the bars for Olympic lifting in mind. But I really like this bar, it's quite a solid bar, it does have a bit of give in it too, so it's not too solid, but it, it does have a nice whip, so you can do your Olympic lifts. The other benefit of this bar, for front squatting in particular, is that it has no center neural, which means that when you do get under the bar and place it on your neck, you're not going to get those scratches that you do, say if you use the bar like the one I showed you previously. So this is a great bar, I think it's a great addition to have. I really like that bar. There are some people who aren't as big as fans of it as me, but I, I, I really like the Penlay uh, pushing bar. It's just a solid all-round hybrid bar. You can use it for pressing, deadlifting. It really lends itself well to a number of different lifts. Then if you look at our rack here, we've got a number of different customized bars uh, that you may not have seen before. So these come from, you know, we've got our local stuff from Iron Edge and Australian Barbell. Then we've got stuff from Watson's and even stuff from Aleco, which is obviously the Ferrari of Barbell. So this first bar here, which I'm just holding up, this is a female bar. And it's not a female bar because it weighs 15 kilos, okay? It's a female bar simply because um, the diameter is smaller. And females, the three biggest weaknesses in training a female uh, well, one of them is obviously their forearm flexors, so grabbing the bar. So when they're doing a deadlift, often the bar will slip out of their hands. The other two are knee flexors and uh, scapular retractors. This bar is from um, Australian, well, this one's from Iron Edge, but it has a very nice spin on it. I, I really like this bar for, for females, but it is 15 kilos, and again, the di diameter is smaller, and there is no cinnamon on it either, so if you are front squatting as a female, it does tend to feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, then we can go over, I won't grab this one out because it does weigh 40 kilos. This one is from uh, Iron Edge and that's just a, a simple log, like you know where you're log pressing. Then we've got these, these are from our friends uh, Watson's, Dumb uh, Watson's Custom Strength in the UK. Um, has a fat grip, these are actually called polygon kettlebells, so we'll put weights on each side. We mainly use these for um, obviously curls and lat raises um, because of the fact of with the pollock and kettlebell, the weight sits underneath your hand. So the strength curve is actually manipulated and it has a very nice uh, roll to it as well. So it's quite a good bar. Uh, we mainly use them for arms, to be perfectly honest with you. We don't really use them for all much else, except for training arms. And sometimes, as I said, lat raises, we use them a lot there too. Obviously your trap bar. Now a good trap bar will have both the high handles and the low handles, just depending upon what you, your training and what you accomplish, obviously. Um, we've got a fat bar here. So a fat bar or an axle bar, as you would call it in Strongman. It's just essentially that, it's a fat bar. Straight through, you know, multiple different use. Uh, if someone wants to improve their grip strength, you know, definitely a fat bar um, can, is a very good application. 
Then we've got this bar here, which is a body development bar. Now this is probably one of the most interesting bars that I've ever seen, and um, you know, I'm an equipment nut, I love equipment. But uh, this bar, the attachments we've got on it at the moment is uh, the, the brick, or the pinch grip. So with the pinch grip, essentially these, these handles, if I just spend a little bit of time on this explaining, these handles can be customized to, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but all these little holes here, we can essentially put this wherever we want it to be. Um, this, we call these, we just dub these, what, this is what we call them in Enterprise Fitness, but we call these lobster curls, because you really have to pinch like a lobster, and uh, yeah, really good workout for your forearms, obviously using this. The other application that it comes with, or handles, it comes with standard handles, that are fat, they're fat grip, and it also comes with circle handles, which it's like grabbing an enlarged prostate that has been calcified over. A bad joke, I know, but it, these are very, very challenging um, on your grip, extremely challenging. I've, I tried doing one arm, not one arm rows, upright rows with this, and it is very, very hard to grab. Very hard to grab. So this is a great bar. Um, you can do a number of different things from standard curls, bent over rows, presses. Um, obviously it lends itself well to pressing because it can go all the way down like a canvas bar. As well, if someone is having a shoulder injury, the ability, because these rotate as you lower, or they rotate as you perform the movement, you can get the person to rotate uh, and completely rotate at that end point so it takes the pressure off their shoulder. So it, it is a really great bar and also does hook up to cables as well with another attachment there. So uh, Watson's Custom Strength Body Development Bar, it's a great addition, I think it's a really, really good bar. Um, then we've got uh, the Swiss Bar, and Swiss, Swiss, Swiss Bar is from Iron Edge. Um, it's got all the handles that Swiss bar needs. Uh, this bar, which a lot of people have seen, it's standardized at, uh, I believe this one's about 28 kilos. This is called a safety bar, or a squat bar. Um, we got this one from Watson's Custom Strength as well, and we got the other ones. But the reason why, uh, this bar has a number of benefits. Uh, sits nicely on the shoulders, you can grab it straight in front. So if someone does have a lot of tightness through their upper back, or trouble getting their hands uh, back behind the bar, this gives them a nice uh, grip and takes all the pressure off the sh shoulder. Generally what we find is people will be stronger um, with a safety bar, um, especially because of the fact that it does cut out a lot of the retraction and also the load from the lower back as well. So people can really focus on their quads. Again, it does feel nice and comfortable. Um, male and female, most, most people using this bar really, really like it. Again, it's 28 kilos, so if you are going to use it for the first time, you want to definitely have a base level of strength. You don't want to just go into it like first time squatting. But it is another great bar in addition. Then we move into the bars that I'm quite anal about. That's the Alico collection. So I'll show you the difference over here at our platform. So we've got these two bars here. Uh, now again, Aleco is obviously a Swedish brand, what you call Swedish steel, so you're obviously paying more for it. But here's the two different uh, bars that I suppose Aleco really offer. And obviously one of them is the power bar, and the other one is the uh, weightlifting bar. And the difference is in the spin and how it's made. So if I grab the uh, power bar, it does have a much harsher knurling on it, and it's a lot, a lot more solid. So if I drop bar, it just dro drops and straight down. So it's a very good bar for developing strength of, again, because if I try and bend this bar, there's no absolutely no give. But it's obviously a very poor bar, or poor, poor choice if you're gonna do Olympic lifts. You wouldn't wanna do a snatch with this bar or a, a clean. It, again, because there's, there's no give in the bar. This bar is their Olympic bar, and this bar has an excellent spin on it. So it spins nicely. Uh, essentially, when you drop it, it rattles a little bit more. But see if I grab this bar and I just even do that with it, it feels really nice. It, it moves, there's, there's give in it. Um, it's a great bar for again, your Olympic lifts. I much prefer front squatting with a bar like that. 
Personally, I prefer squatting in general with an Olympic bar rather than a power bar, but obviously the power bar definitely has an application. Um, it will definitely make you, uh, if you get used to training on a power bar and then you go to an Olympic bar that has a bit of give in it, your lifts will probably go up. Uh, that's the whole point of, uh, say, a Texas bar. When you're doing deadlifting, it does have that uh, flex in the bar. So same thing with your Olympic bar. And then finally, uh, this bar is essentially the Australian barbell version of the Olympic bar. And what I've actually found, which is a, a needle bearing bar, this bar has excellent spin. Um, Australian Barber have done an absolutely fantastic job at, the, uh, the, the, at their needle bearing bar. So, uh, and finally, if I just show you one other bar here, this is the standard bar that you'll find uh, at most gyms. So most gyms have a standard knurling on it. This is from Australian Barbell. Again, these bars weigh 20 kilos. So, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that video on um, bars. So as you can see, a bar isn't a bar. A bar definitely has a specific application and it depends what you're doing. If you're doing like front squatting, Olympic lifts, you want to make sure you have the right bar for the right purpose. And obviously at Enterprise, we've got over, as I said, 15, 16 uh, customized bars that, um, that our clients can enjoy. So if you want more information, check out my blog. It's www.maximusmark.com. Until I speak to you guys next time, eat well and train hard.